My big thing is, is if you're going to deal with this company, Dread Quarters, what you're going to need to do is not only just do your homework beforehand, do it well in advance. Read your contract on her. If you're going to purchase something, you make sure it's on there, which all my contracts that I do are on there. My big thing is I need people out there to understand when you buy something, read it, go over it, and make sure you understand it. If you don't ask questions or call because they have the service managers always on there, they can explain it to you. I don't need to do that because I've done that before. But the big thing is when you try to explain it to somebody and they don't comprehend it or they don't understand or the bottom line is, well, it's a weekend. I don't feel like working today. And that's a lot of attitudes that I'm seeing out there with this company. And it's pretty sad. And if you can make an appointment, that's the key thing. Make the appointment. Get there at least 15 minutes early. Explain what you want done, just like I've done. And don't say anything. Don't get argumentative with anybody. Just listen to what's got to be said. Because when you start arguing, you're not going to resolve anything. Just keep a good, accurate log. And when you're done, go somewhere else. If you're not satisfied, get that stuff taken care of. Then. You can do things like I just did and put it on this site and hopefully everybody can see it. But I don't recommend trade quarters anywhere, not just in my state, but in any state. Shady McGrady, that's what I'm calling them. Go to MTB or go to the dealerships, whatever. But don't go to them. All right, my big issue is is I buy tires every so often, and I'm not a cheapskate. You can, uh, my wife will even tell you that. So when I go out and look for tires, I do my homework, I do my research and all that, blah, 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 blah. So if I see everything, I grew up in the northern, so I buy tires, even though I'm living down here in the southern areas. I buy tires down here as the same way as I would drive up north. You know, and that's all season, 85, 90,000, blah, blah type. So I don't go in those rental things. I look for good tires. So normally I'd go to NTB, National Tire and Battery. But the problem that they had was they didn't have these particular tires that I was looking for. Okay. And the tires are a Goodyear tire, which is an 85,000 mile tire. And Tire Rack. Dot com is where I, sometime I would buy tires. They did not have the size for the vehicle. I said, okay, no big deal. So I waited for a while. So lo and behold, I got the uh, Sunday paper and I saw Dread Quarters and they had them in there. So I figured, well, let me give them a call. I told them I was looking for a particular brand tire. And they said, well, they don't have them in stock, but they have them at our warehouse. It'll take a couple days to get them. I said, works for me. So we scheduled an appointment on December the 16th, which was a Sunday. I dropped the car off in the morning, got it back the afternoon. Now, mind you, anytime I buy a uh, package of four towers, five with a spare, I always ensure that I get that package because if something happens, she gets stuck out there, that tire gets replaced for nothing. Okay. And I've done that all my life. Nobody had to tell me to do that. And so on this package, it has in here tire services, wheel alignment. Okay. Lifetime install package includes this is what I bought with this tire package. Mounting, balancing, standard valve, stem, TPMS inspection and reset, alignment check. If the alignment's out, I usually will get the alignment check and if it's out, either you pay for it or you don't. In other words, if you're within a year, you wouldn't have to pay for it. Once it exceeds that, and this is the ones that I've bought and even at NTB, yes. 
So I said, okay, this is cool. Also, Will Torque plus lifetime keyword, lifetime balancing, lifetime rotation, lifetime tire repair. That's what I have the same thing with NTB. And I got this with tread quarters. Now, if you ask me why I went to tread quarters, it's because NTP didn't have them. And so they said they didn't think they could get that brand in stock. And I was kind of bumming about it because those were really good tires. And I've known some people who've driven on them, even though it was a fairly new tire. Uh, they love them. And right now we got them. We love them, which was great. And everything checked out in the green, meaning on a scale one to 10, eight, nine, nine, nine point five, etc. Nothing was cautious or yellow or whatever. Okay, so six months later, and that's the sheet by the way. Six months later, which was June the 10th, uh, a lot of things were going on down here. And uh, I told my wife, I said, I'm gonna take your car in and get an appointment. And uh, we want to get the car um, tire rotation and balance and see how everything's going. I said, six months, you're within that window. And she said, not a problem. And so I did that. Correction. I'm mistaken. I took the car in on June the 7th. There it goes. That's a Sunday. Because then I got all these other emails here. Apologize for that. Took the car in, had the appointments. And I was going to wait around, you know, figure, you know, not a big deal. Shouldn't be that hard. You pop the tires off, balance them up, check the alignment, boom, out of there. Well, a guy calls me in and he says, hey, uh, I've got a question for you. Said, yeah, what's up? He says, you know, the lug nuts that you got on this car said they're not popping off. I said, what do you mean they're not popping off? No, the guy can't get the uh, lug nuts popped off. Okay, so I go back to the shop, look at it, quiet as a bell, not going to say a word. So he goes, yeah, you see, I can't get him in, I can't turn him and twist him and this and that. I'm like, okay, you sure? He said, yeah. I said, okay. So the guy says to me, and I found this very amusing, well, sir, you know, uh, Heat and cold and everything, you know, sometimes it changes the lug nuts and this and that. I'm like, uh-huh, yeah, keep going. I guess the guy took me as an idiot, but I know a lot more cars about cars than him. I'm too darn old to do stuff now, so I figure I'm going to go ahead and just take cars in and get it done. So I figure, all right. Now, I understand, I got it. It's COVID-19, you have to have separation, and they had separation over there. That's not an issue, which was good. Everybody wore masks. And so he said, yeah, you know, when it changes from the winter weather to the heat and the cold and cold and the heat, he goes, you know, it does have a tendency. I said, well, you got a point. The problem is the weather we had down here didn't get below 45 or 50 degrees. We had an extremely mild winter. No snow, no nothing. Kids or not. It was great. So I left it at that. I started laughing while I left. I'm like, oh, my God, this guy don't know nothing. So anyway, went back, explained it to my wife, talked to her about it. I said, don't worry about it. I'll take it over to NDP across the street. And I said, no guys over there are pretty sharp. But before I did that, I had my own um, jack or whatever. I was able to go pop. Oh, okay, Tom, put it back on. Oh, let me try another one. Oh, pop. Well, oh, I'm 57. The guy who was doing it's probably like 21. He should have a lot more strength than me. So I'm like, got it. And he had a machine toy. I didn't. I had manual. So I said, well, I'm going to take it over to NTB. I said, it's probably going to cost me a little extra money. I said, it's sad. I said, but I'm going to see what I can do. And so anyway, long story short, I took it over to NTB. And there was two gentlemen, and I'll leave their names out of it because they're really good. Um, I talked to them, and they said, hey, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take care of our tire rotation balance. We'll check the alignment. It needs a line. We'll line it up. All right. Well, it did need an alignment. And um, the bad part about the whole thing is 
I asked the guy, both of them, I said, hey, you guys have any issues getting those uh, lug nuts off? He goes, oh, no, that was easy. I said, really? He said, oh, yeah. He said, the guys out in the shop want to talk to them. I'm like, nope, I take your word for it. Because I only went and took one just to see if I can loosen on each tire. That's all I did. I could do it, pop it back, and I said, okay, there's a problem. It's a Sunday. The weather's beautiful. The guys probably don't want to work. You know what? Shut down for the day. That's the way I felt. I'm like, not a problem. And so what I did is I got on this uh, <clears throat> Monroe.com, whatever, Drake Quarters is. Uh, their home office is up in New York uh, State. Um, I talked to this lady named, I don't even want to leave. I won't do that. That's not fair. I shouldn't do that because it's not her fault. She's just there answering the phone. Anyway, so I called it uh, Wednesday on June the 10th. That was the first time I contacted him. I explained the same thing as I'm talking to you. Went right by the sheet and everything. So I got a deer in the headlights look a couple times. So I had to go back again and redo it. So then she got it. She said, okay, do me a favor, sir. Send me the documents. Okay, well, she hung up. I'm like, well, that's not going to do good. Where am I sending the documents? Because when I sent an email to them, I got an automatic kickback. So their email doesn't work at all, which I explained that to them. So she said, well, try this email address when I called back on Thursday, which was on June 11th. And... I went ahead and faxed everything up that I had along with what NTB did. And I said, look, the only thing I want, I want somebody to honor this. This is crap. I said, you guys are across the street from each other. One guy who I bought these tires from Dreadquarters, you guys couldn't, they couldn't pop the tires. I got this song and dance. Now NTB across the street pops them no problem. Peace cake. Does the alignment, does the um, tire rotation, good to go. So NTB, by the way, they asked me, uh, they didn't charge me for uh, the tire rotation because I go there a lot. But in fact, the reason why I went to Dreadquarters is because of the tires. That was the key. And I was hoping they would have had it. Anyway, so... I talked to the young lady. I sent an email. She said, yep, yeah, I got your uh, all your documentation, sir. She said, thank you. I'll be getting back to you. This was June 11th. Got it. So I waited for a while. Got busy doing a bunch of stuff, work-related, et cetera, et cetera. So I figured, you know what? I told my wife, I said, they're called these cats. I said, it's almost a month. So Monday, June 13th, I sent an email. And I said, I need an updated status on what's going on with this issue that I had with the uh, trade quarters here in my state. I said, it's been a month. I haven't heard anything. I faxed the doc or uh, I emailed the documentation to them. Nothing. And so this is funny. The very next day, June 14th, 11.30 a.m. Now, I, like everybody else, is at work. I get a voicemail. It says, sir, we apologize. We cannot uh, refund your money and everything. and We're not going to do that. Um, if you got any questions, just please give us a call. Click. Wow. So I got home at 3 o'clock, by the way, when I got this. So I went in and called back. <laughs> I got a voicemail. Okay, I'll leave a voicemail. Hello, my name is so-and-so, and I'm calling in regards to the phone call that I received on Tuesday, 14 July, 1130 a.m. Not sure who the person was because they did not leave their name. But however, this is my name, and this is who I dealt with. Oh, my gosh. So I didn't get upset or mad, but this is so funny. Piss customer, you guys, whoever you are. I got an email about this time what's going on. And I started laughing. I'm like, man, he must get a bug in my house. This is so coincidence. 
hey, we haven't heard from you in a while. What's going on? <laughs> so that's when I fired off that uh, response. But it really gets good. So, um, what was it, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, my phone rings. And I looked, I'm like, oh, I think that's trick quarters up in New York State. So I run to get it, click, burr, time, 4.59 p.m. I'm like, well, gee, they're probably going to go ahead and cover the little tracks here and say, well, we did try to call him, but nobody answered. We didn't leave a message. That's it. I'm not stupid. I know people do that stuff. You know, it's like the mail. Well, it must have got lost in the mail. No, nothing gets lost in the mail. You just didn't send it out and delete it. Okay, so I did a follow-up email at 5.59 p.m., and I sent it to this individual, and I said, oh, by the way, I don't know who tried calling my home, but at 4.59 p.m., the phone rang twice, and when I got it to pick it up, it just went dead. So I guess somebody there on their end pretty much said, well, you know, I tried calling them, but that was their shift. Five o'clock, they probably got off. So I haven't heard from them. And when I found about you guys, I figured, oh, this is a good way to vent. I told my wife, I said, I'm sick of this crap. I said, these cats down here and everywhere else, they need to be thrown under the carpet. So that is the end of my drama. What is the best solution for you in the situation? My best solution is I want them to honor this right here. I don't need no apologies. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm glad. If that guy reads this, that guy was a clown. He knows nothing about cars. Because it's pretty pathetic when I got people in front of me at Dread Quarters asking him questions, and he's giving that, gee, I don't know. Well, gee, if you don't know, maybe you need to go. I want this honor. I, you know what? I paid a lot of money for this stuff. I'll tell you right now, I'm going to tell you what I paid for. I don't do the apology thing. Um, all total, I paid $944. Okay. Now, excluding tax, $905. Got it. I ain't stressing that. My thing is about here is, and I think I might have forgot this. The same guy who put the tires on, on uh, December, he's the same guy. It did, it was supposed to be doing the um, the um, tire rotation and balancing for me. And that's what I mentioned to that guy. I'm like, well, if he put on the lug nuts back in December, then he screwed them up. So why can't he get them off? I don't know if I mentioned that. I forgot to tell you that. But I covered everything else. I don't want no apologies from them. I'll never go back and get nothing from them. I'll tell you that right now. But I want them, I want them to honor this because I paid this money for this um, alignment stuff and this tire rotation, lifetime and everything that I bought, which was 120 bucks. And you know, I had MTB do this for me right across the street, which I am not going to say their comments because it's a separate company. But anyway, there you go. Now I think I've covered everything for you.